All right. I like this intro, like when I jump jump out of a car. I, do you guys like that, or is it just? I don't know. Anyways, that's just how I like starting some of my videos. I've got something to show you guys, though. Something I I haven't shown. You may have seen it on uh, some of the other Guggen's channel. This little guy right here. Yeah. You may not you may not have a clue what this is. Okay. Free range trading post came out with this okay so now not only do you get amazing tasting coffee but this is the spawn box now rob i believe made a video p mentioning this you know a while ago but as you know i'm in nebraska a lot of you guys watching are midwest folks or northerners and uh your fish haven't started spawning yet so now right now if you guys are in the midwest or up north and the fish are going to spawn within the next month you got to come pick this thing up i'll show you what's inside so what's inside okay you might ask not only do you get early morning bite coffee, okay? You get a whole stinking bag of coffee. So, you know, when, when the fish are biting early in the morning, you drink this, makes you excited about life, boom. Then, you get fishing baits, okay? You get some Rage Tail, you get the Rage Cross, all right? You get a whole pack of green pumpkin Rage Cross. This is perfect bed fishing bait, okay, folks? This is where, this is the lure that we catch a lot of fish on. And, you get a t-shirt. You get a free range t-shirt. So not only do you get a t-shirt, baits, coffee, you get all that for just $24.99. I will leave the link down below. I wanted to show you guys. I was waiting until the bass started to spawn. As you can tell, I'm at a lake and I'm going fishing today with my buddy Ethan. I'm waiting on him to show up. He got a new boat. So we're taking his boat out today and uh, I'm just going to ride passenger fishing a new lake for this year. I haven't fished this lake this year. It's a very clear lake. So the last video you guys saw was muddy water. This is clean water. We're going to see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, folks, we're out on the water. We got Ethan, the man. He's here. He's ready for some action. And we're in this nice, beautiful new boat. I told myself in this video, I will not throw a chatterbait. I'll like flare, quit throwing the dang chatterbait. So now I'm throwing a swim jig. It's basically a chatterbait without the blade. It's a little bit different. And the reason why I'm picking this for this body of water is one, I've used it before and it's worked. And two, the water is very clear here. It's, we've actually got a lot of wind going on right now. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of wind. So moving baits, I think are gonna be pretty good. I mean, we're probably gonna catch some flip fish. But moving bait should work fairly well. Something in clean water, it's sunny, and then there's grass involved. That basically calls for a swim jig. And I've got a little boot tail on it, and I, I chartreuse dip the tail just a, just a teeny touch, just to give it a little color. I don't know. It probably doesn't make a difference, but for me, it makes me a little bit more confident. So basically, we're just gonna run around, throw this thing. Water temp showing 54, 55, so, I mean, it's warm enough for moving baits. It's not super warm. They're not gonna be on beds by any means, but they should be kind of thinking about moving up. We're gonna see if we can make some magic happen here in the good old state of Nebraska. Oh, you got one. Oh, we're hooked up, boys. What do we got? What do we got? Woo! Yeah, we got a jig fish. All right, after uh, like 40 minutes of fishing, finally. Absolutely. How's that make you feel about your life? Good? Yeah. We were just talking about how we sucked. Yeah, I mean, I Look still at this suck. Thing. That's what we're after right there. So we come here, grind it out for the bacons only. There's one. Oh, it came up! Ah! I had one first cast. It didn't feel very big, but that was a fish. There's one. Oh, we're hooked up now, boys. On the lip list. Stay on. You stay hooked, my friend. You stay hooked, my friend. Don't you come off. If you come off, my heart will be crushed. I bombed one out there. Oh, it's a giant. When you're water skiing him, he's freaking huge. Come on, come on. Get up here, son. This is what we came here for. As you can tell, Nebraska brutes only. Oh, well, he just about flopped off. You almost did it, buddy. Oh, these fish are ice cold. Okay, see you, buddy. Wow, brutes, but not on a chatterbait and it was on a lip list, which is good. I've talked about this bait before. How it's one of my all time favorite early spring, which is not early spring, but the conditions of 52 degree water. That's pretty much early spring in my book. One of the best baits. You could throw a jerk bait or this. This is what I prefer. And of course, red, like I've talked about in some previous videos, red is my favorite. Red seems to be 
uh, the best color. Crankbait that I prefer is in the color red. For some odd reason, red seems to just absolutely kill it for me in the spring. I don't know why it works. I mean, I don't assume these fish or these lakes have a bunch of crawfish. They might, but red always works no matter where I go. There's one. We're hooked up. We're hooked up again. Dude, we found the juice hole. We found the juice hole right here. Wind blown pocket with rocks. Oh, he's a little bigger. We're, we're growing a little bit. Come on now. Come on now, little buddy. Get over here. Get over here. Get up in here. Oh, is he any bigger? Is he gonna flop off? No, he's he's good. I mean, he's about, he's about the same size. Would you just chill out? Rick, calm down. I'll let you go if you just relax. There you go. Okay, yep, the wind is not getting any any less windy. Beauty. A little squeaker. I'm throwing this. I, I hope you guys can hear. I'm throwing this on a 7-2 medium heavy six stick 15 pound floor carbon and a lipless crankbait colored red. Dude, it just picked up like 10 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, he's there. Yep, we're hooked up again. Third fish in the same pocket, baby. The wind picked up a solid 10 miles an hour from about five minutes ago, so that's good. It's what I needed. I mean, I didn't have enough wind in my life. I needed some more. Here we go. Oh, oh, he came off. Catch and release. Easy as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Back in the water we go. Try to catch another big one. Oh, I got it one. Look at that, back to back. Oh, he came off. No, no. Why did you do this? I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. All right, we found it, folks. We found the juice. It only took a little bit. We found where they are, where it's the most freaking windy. Perfect. There he is. That's three for three. That's th You stay on now. You stay on now. That's three for three. Yep, yep. Come here. Yes. We landed that one. Now these fish obviously aren't the biggest on planet Earth, but we are catching them. I mean, this is better than just sitting at home because really, if I looked at the weather app prior to coming fishing, I probably would have just stayed at home <laughs> because uh, I'm not a huge fan of this, but you know, I like catching fish. So we're gonna keep going. Like I said, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I'm throwing the six stick. If you guys want, it's linked down below. This is one of my favorite favorite moving bait rods it's got the great great soft tip on it good backbone and i'll link the bait as well and any other gear we use but we're gonna see if we can catch some more yep yep we're hooked up we are gonna catch some more we are gonna catch some more today this is crazy this is like nebraska farm pond fishing but not on a farm pond every cast i mean these guys are not very big but look at these look at these little squeakers they just love this bait like, like they're so small you can't even lip them that's that's when you know you're really just catching the giants when you can't even put your finger in their lip there we go another one this is uh it's about to turn into another 200 bass video but it's actually on a lake which makes me feel a little bit better not a, not a private body of water it just goes to show, I've been throwing this bait for the last hour and a half with no bites. We've been moving around, throwing jigs, Ned rigs, chatter bait, no, not chatter baits, swim jigs, mixing it up. But you gotta find them, this is just wind blown, little, little pocket, like a little cove. And that's where all the fish are hiding. Yup, we're hooked up again, we're hooked up again. There we go. Does this one have any more size? Absolutely not, it's the same size, little squeak, squeak, McGee. Why are these all so small? It's not like this is like a new lake. This lake's been around for a few years. Actually, I fished this lake the day it opened in high school. Look at these little guys. Why? Why are you so aggressive and why are you not bigger than what you are? Where is your mother? Where's your mother? Where is your mother? Please, someone tell me. Yep, we're hooked up again. You wanna come back here? There's plenty of fish, I'll leave a couple for you. Oh, this one's actually just a touch bigger. Maybe like, maybe like three and a half centimeters bigger. Maybe, maybe, we're gonna see. Are you gonna flop off? 
look at that just same fish okay same size fish on the same bait killing killing the game going pro 2024 you guys better watch out see you later junior Here we go. First, cast. first cast look at that see i hooked i hooked the boy up with the red he was throwing the orange they don't like the orange they like the red look he caught a fish that's what we're doing that's what we're doing we're making moves making cardi b money moves one thing that we just noticed was the water here is 55 degrees which back where we were fishing before was 52 and 53. so like i said in my previous videos find the warm water a lot of times on the north end which was not the case we started on the north end and it was not the warmest water we found the warmest water here kind of in the centralized area of the, of the lake 55 two degrees makes a difference folks uh, we moved found warmer water caught a whole bunch of fish just get your little pen out and take some notes folks take some notes Yep, yep, we're hooked up. We move spots. We found even warmer water, almost 56. And I'm throwing the lipless crank, and I just caught a fish. I shouldn't say I caught. I have one hooked. It. Oh, almost got your line. He actually feels a little bit better. We might have upgraded a little bit. Yep, just a wee bit. We upgraded him. This guy looks a little bit longer than some of those other guys, but not a bigot. We're still looking for Big Bertha. We're not sure where she's at. She might be out deep. She might be up shallow. We're not sure, but another fish. You can't complain when you're catching them. Even if they're flare fish, hey, all fish need love, okay? You gotta love them all equally. There's one, there's one. Oh, oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up again on the lipless crank. The lipless crankbait has quickly turned into my chatter bait where that's like all I throw and that's all I catch fish on for the video. Sorry, not sorry. I'm here to catch fish. Whoop! Look at this. This is one of the most fire lipless crank bites I've ever been on, like as far as numbers go. I mean, I've caught some fish on them, but, and again, like I've told you guys, I mean, if you, you guys can go back and watch my top five spring fishing videos from 2015 and 16 and 17, 18, it'll always talk about red lipless crank baits, but it's only in the spring that I have this much luck with them. After the spring, I go to gold or like a sexy shad or just don't even throw lipless crankbaits honestly to, at all. But for some reason, once those fish start to get active in that like 53 to 58 degree water, throw the lipless crankbait. And then once you get above that, then I start throwing more of the chatter bait and stuff like that. But right now, what is it, 56? That's money. Right at 55, 56, that's when you wanna be throwing this bait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are making an, oh, we're making a move, okay? An audible, we're calling it an audible. We're going to another lake, smaller, less windy, hopefully, bigger fish, hopefully. I mean, this could be a total bust. We could not catch a single fish, but you gotta take the chance, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna give her a shot. Kind of like a Hail Mary, you know? Fourth quarter, got like a minute left, Hail Mary, here we go. Well, in case you're wondering, it's just as windy. Just, yep, it's just as windy. I love the wind so much. Two hours later. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of it. We are off the water, as you can tell. You didn't see any fish catches. You didn't see any five, six pounders caught. Why is that? Why didn't Why didn't they see that? Because because we suck, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we suck. We, <laughs> we went to the new lake. Wind was still just as strong. And actually, we went to the dam, and it was 47 degrees. So we were dealing with even colder water. Then back there, it was a little bit warmer. But we couldn't get the fish to bite. Basically, like I said, it was a last Hail Mary effort to catch a big fish since we only caught the little squeakers, the little flare fish all day. It didn't work out, but at least we tried. I mean, we caught, we had fun, caught fish, and uh, and overall, we had had a good time chasing chasing Nebraska Bruce. We were we were chasing, we weren't catching. We did not catch any today, but it was a good day. Good day out on the water with Ethan as always. Remember, if you guys go check out the flare shop. I'm wearing one of the shirts right here, the Nebraska Bruce shirts. We spent over $25 before May 15th, you get entered automatically to win a fishing trip with me. You can go, I'll take you out on the 10 pounder and we'll go catch bigger fish because it'll be a better time of year for fishing for sure. We'll catch more and bigger fish than what you guys saw today. But reminder, check the link in the description if you guys want or are interested in coming fishing with me. I'll have more information down below. And remember, if you guys want the spawn box for free range, That'll be linked down below and all the gear all the rods the reels the lines and everything that i was using today will be linked down below check it out thanks for watching peace